Which you guys got another video here for you, the best tool for Windows 11. We're going to be taking a look at Explorer Patcher. This had a few updates in the past, and I wanted to show you uh, what this tool can actually do. So let's go ahead and download it. You can download it from the main page here by clicking on the download button and then coming down to this little green button here, clicking on this, and it will take you to another page. Or you can download it from GitHub and download the latest version from there and it will be the same version that you get. You'll probably get the latest updated version from GitHub because he keeps that updated quite a bit on here. Just come down and click on the executable file, and then you can run this on your computer. Once you run the application, it's going to give you a bunch of features that you can enable on your computer, which will be uh, the taskbar, system tray, file explorer, start menu, Windows switcher, weather, other, updates and advanced these are the features that you can change and if you click on the top one taskbar you'll see there is a bunch of stuff that you can configure inside here so for instance you can have the taskbar style for windows 10 more taskbar options in settings app customize the notification area you can change the taskbar size and you can also do a bunch of other stuff in here like automatically hide the taskbar start button style windows 10 default and a bunch of other things which you can customize in here you can move it over to the left hand side and change the actual menu itself back to windows 10 here now another thing you can do is uh, disable the windows 11 context menu and command bar in file explorer and more so you can do quite a bit you can change it back to a style that you like yourself then you can move on down to this bit here where it says taskbar icon size and you can change this to small or large uh, by default there next up is the system tray and as you can see there's a bunch of configurations that you can do in here like skin the taskbar and tray pop-up menus and also center tray icon pop-up menus there's a bunch of them here like fly out behavior for the actual menu itself and you control center button show desktop buttons and also choosing other options available in here, which are to do with the uh, flyout options available, which is Windows 10 flyout and so on. And next, we got the File Explorer here. You can register as the show extension here, disable the Windows 11 context menu, always legacy file transfer dialog, and also use classic drive uh, groupings in the PC. There's a bunch of stuff that you can change in there as well. Also, we've got the start menu, which you can change. There is an important notice that you must read before changing this option. But again, uh, you can read that at your own leisure. There's some other stuff in here, like position on the screen, whether you want it on the center or if you want it on the left hand side at the edge of the screen here, it's called. And then we've got the maximum number of frequent apps to show six by default. You can change that if you wish. You can turn the show more tiles off and you can have rounded corners on floating menus and things like that as well. Uh, there's a, quite a few bits in there to change. You've got the Windows switcher here, which is for your alt tab style for Windows 11 by default. You've got the weather here where you can just turn the weather app off if you want to by just toggling it on and off. Here we have other and there's a bunch of stuff in here which you can configure as well for your operating system it just makes things a lot more quicker and easier to customize it to your own liking and you could just toggle these on and off uh, to the way you want them uh, another one here is the updates this deals with the updates for the actual application itself so you can keep it updated and you can see up the very top there's a couple of uh, not recommended which is like receive pre-release versions these are going to be sort of uh, beta versions or alpha versions which are not really fully tested so bear that in mind it's not recommended to do those keep to the latest versions moving on down to the advanced section here there's a bunch of stuff in here which you can uh, turn on or off depending on how you want to uh, customize your version of windows and then you've got the about page which is about explorer patcher and about who created it and their email and some other bits like support and things like that, which you can put in there. And you can also restore to defaults by clicking on the restore to default settings, and it will put everything back to the way it was before you installed Explorer Patcher, which I think is really useful. You can put a shortcut for it down on the taskbar there. So when you close it down, you can open it by just clicking on the shortcut. And uh, 
yeah, you got your start menu uh, down on the left-hand corner now. And again, you can customize it a lot more. I'm just showing you some of the settings. You can make this exactly how you like it. This is just uh, uh, something I just knocked up quickly, but you can put a fly out on here as well to make it exactly how you want your uh, taskbar and start menu to look like when you're using Explorer Patcher. Anyway, with that said, just a quick video today. My name is Ben Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members. I appreciate the support and I'll catch you in the next one or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. Bye for now. <music>